I pray that y'all are blessed today in Jesus' name. And that you are seeking after the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Building yourselves up. Not thinking that you don't qualify in your service to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Don't let the devil ever try to manipulate your mind and make you think like you're unqualified to serve the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Don't allow the devil to weigh on your mistakes of the past and all your mess ups and think that you just don't qualify to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God takes the unqualified and he makes them qualified. Your weakness is what qualifies you in service to Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you look at the scripture, it says that God chooses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He takes the weak things of the world, the foolish things of the world, and he uses them to shame and confound the wise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He reaches into the drunkard's life. And he delivers that drunkard from his, drunk, from his drunkenness. He anoints that man with his spirit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And he uses him to be a testimony. That's what God does. That's what the Lord specializes in. He takes people off the street that are broken, that are in deep darkness. He takes the misfits. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. People that just count, they're counted out by their family. They're counted out by their friends. They're counted out by the world. They just made big old mistakes. They stumbled and fumbled the ball and God reaches into their life and he begins to bring restoration to that person's life. And he puts his spirit in that person and he uses that person to be a testimony. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He qualifies that person through their weakness to be in service for his son Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He takes messed up people and he changes their lives. Hallelujah. He anoints them with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And he puts them out there to be a testimony. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you look out and you really talk to people, you will see that all the rich people and all the people that got it going on and everything's all good, they don't want God. Hallelujah. They don't want Jesus. It's foolishness to them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's why the Lord says, go to the lame. Go to the maimed. Go to the poor. Go to those who are broken and bound by Satan. Minister to them. Pray for them that deliverance will come. They're going to listen to you. Hallelujah. They're more open to hear about the Lord. Hallelujah. And God does a work in their life and he puts them back out on the streets to minister Jesus. To be a testimony. Hallelujah. Because deliverance is real. The power of God is real. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I used to be a drunkard, a drug addict. A drug dealer, full of anger, full of hatred, didn't have no love, didn't care about people. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I was in a broken and dark place and God got a hold of my life. I cried out, I prayed to him and the Lord set me free. He radically set me free and he took me off of the streets from being a drug dealer. He took me out of the darkness from being a drunkard. He took me out of being bound by addiction and he set me free and he put me back out there on the streets. He gave me an anointing to go back where I was bound at to preach and bring the gospel. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If anybody was foolish, it was me. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He takes people off the street and he changes them. And he puts them back in the streets to be a testimony. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I never thought that I would be serving the Lord. That wasn't my vision for my life. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But God had a plan and a purpose. And he has a plan and a purpose for all of us. We just have to humble ourselves. We just have to be submissive. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We just have to open up our lives and say, God, here I am. Send me, I'll go. Here I am. Do what you want with my life. Nevertheless, God, not my will, but your will. I don't want my will anymore, God. I want your will. I don't want my life or anything that I had planned in my own heart for my own life, God. I want what you got. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And the Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, he will exalt you. He will exalt your wisdom. He will exalt your knowledge. He will exalt your understanding. He will exalt you in an anointing. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will change you. He will do a work in your life. All God is wanting you to do is humble yourself. You don't have to be worried about being qualified to serve the Lord. What qualifies you is your weakness. What qualifies you is you not being self-sufficient, but knowing that you can't do things without God. And your sufficiency is in Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, you poor in spirit. The Bible says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Poor in spirit means, God, I'm absolute dependent upon you. My security is in you. I don't know how I'm going to do things. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm not confident in myself. My confidence is in you, God. I need your help in all things. And you come to the Lord in prayer. You rely upon God in prayer. And God is faithful and just. And he will be faithful to his word. He will be faithful to his promises. All you got to do is you got to throw yourself upon the mercy of God. You have to keep yourself in a place of God reliance. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Not self-reliance, but God reliance. And God will use you through your weakness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He will put a fire in your heart. He will use you for His kingdom. Hallelujah. He chooses the foolish things of the world to put to shame those who think they wise. He uses the weakness of men, the weak things. He chooses the weak things of the world. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And out of their weakness, they become strong. Out of their weakness, they become strong in Christ. They become valiant for truth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. They come, become strong in the Spirit of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's humbleness, my friends. That's what God is looking for. Hallelujah. He chooses the foolish things of the world to confine the wise. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Be encouraged today. Stop letting the devil deceive your mind. Stop letting the devil lie to you and tell you that you, you'll never be anything for God. God will never use you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You need to cast down those thoughts. Hallelujah. Put your confidence in Christ. Humble yourself in prayer. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Your weakness is what qualifies God to use you. Be blessed and keep marching on. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Keep yourself in a place of submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. And be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.